How to get started with the Shopify payment setup. This step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can get started. So hey everybody, welcome to this new video of TechPress. My name is Steven and in today's tutorial, let's see how we can implement the actual payment options. Uh, last day we were just talking about the how to create an actual theme from your on online store and how it's going to be looking all our store name, the phone number, the contact email, our design, the bundler. But now what I want to do is to set up a payment so I can start receiving money and of course get charged for each time someone buys and try to send an item and of course I wanted to pay my taxes and I wanted to pay for my plans and all that. So first of all what I wanted to do is just to focus into the home section of Shopify so we can all be focused into just one place. So as you can see here what I wanted to do is to look out for settings down in here. Here into settings let's go for plan. So here into plan it's really important that maybe you might be using a trial version which is totally fine. But if you wanted to receive payment method, you wanted to get billing and you wanted to receive money, you wanted to choose a plan in order to get started. So you want to go and to choose a plan in order to get started. So here I have a basic plan, I have a Shopify plan, I have an advanced file. As you can see, this one costs us only one freaking dollar for the next three months. So if I choose that option, I have now my account been enabled and I have my website now enabled, which back brings me into the billing section. Here into the billing section, what you want to do is to add a payment method, of course, in order to of course, get charged and all that. You want to set it up to your billing currency as well as your description and the bills and credits are not going to be uh, appearing to our account at the moment. So now we can now be ready to receive payments. So let's go into payment section. And here into payments, this is the payment providers. So in order to accept payment methods, we need to set up a third party account helping us to receive that money and be sent it automatically into our account. So that means when someone clicks into purchase your item, I'm going to hit down here, I'm going to go into my online store, I'm going to hit into the view. When someone clicks into one item like this into the purchase and they go into the automatically added to the card, this money is going to be automatically send it into the payment provider that you chose inside your payment section. So how does the actual uh, Shopify took our money for the actual fees and all that? They're going to be taking that from the billing section. So you can choose two different accounts if you wanted to. So what I want to do in order to receive the money from, let's say, for example, here when someone says buy it now, let's go in here, let's go and choose a provider. And what I can totally suggest to you is to choose payment methods. And here you want to import the elements that you only wanted to receive when you wanted to, let's say, tell customers to pay now. Let's say that you only want to get paid with Apple Pay and let's say PayPal or Visa and MasterCard, which are the most common ones. So as you can see, instead of having like more than 200, I have now all of these elements. But now take it take a look here where it says unavailable in your country so this is really really important i have here the tribe to check out check out.com cybersoz and much more in my case i wanted to choose let's say for example tribe because this one accepts apple pay and i wanted to accept apple pay into my actual account into my actual shopify store so i choose this one depending on what is the actual element that you choose for your account is going to be sending you into the third party uh, application so you can get started with striped so here I want to import my email I hit into continue and I create my account if you already have an account into Stripe for example it's gonna be just really easy you just need to sign in and then you're actually good to go in my case what I want to do is to get started with a new account and I set up a passcode then I need to set up my uh, email and to set up my my addresses everything so I can get started here so now that I'm inside the Stripe I can go back into Shopify and now I am ready to start receiving money here into our actual payments if I go down in here there's actually two stuff that we can implement now we have the add payment method for the PayPal and I have now the Shopify payments now Shopify payments ha is something really great to accept credit cards and other popular payment methods which is a provider that can be helping us to get started and this is how it's going to be looking if you wanted to log in to set up the Shopify payments just click in them and it's going to be taking you right away into our actual account so it's going to choose an account here welcome back I choose my store 
and now I'm ready to get started. So it's here it says payment. I now have been able to accept the payment method of the actual Shopify payment. So let's go and click here. If this one, of course, does not appear, so you want to just make sure that here into your country, you want to choose the actual country that you're currently living. So now I changed my account from United States. And as you can see, I have now the Shopify payment. So that's totally up to you if you wanted to figure it out if you are actually enabled of Shopify payments. So let's go and open a new tab to just to make sure that I have Shopify payment country eligibility. So this one is going to be taking us into the actual requirements of the Shopify payments. So these are the countries who are currently receiving the Shopify payments. If you are not inside the list, I'm afraid this one is not going to be available into your country, into your actual element, to your store. But once again, I just showed you what we can do just in case you don't have the Shopify payment. But in my case, I do have this one. So let's go back here, have the Shopify payments. Let's go for activate Shopify payments. And here what you want to do is to add a first our last name our address apartment and all the information about your store so what i need to do is to submit the information about my business then i need to secure my account with two stepped authentication and lastly i need to add a banking information in order to get uh, of course receiving the payouts so it's going to be really really easy to receive the money with having the Shopify payments. So we didn't have to connect any third party or any kind of other account. We're doing everything inside Shopify and only Shopify. So we're using just like just one application to just uh, import our products, receive our money, making the payouts and all that. So let's go for submit details about your information of your store. So let's go for individual. Uh, the business details, you want to import your personal details, your product details, you want to be as much descriptive as you can, of course, speaking about the customer building statement, uh, how it's going to be appearing, the statement descriptions, the terms and conditions, and then you want to complete the account set it up. Let's go back, and then what you want to do is to secure your account with two-step verification. And lastly, guys, what do you have? The add your banking information. So in order to start receiving payouts, we need to provide a banking information. So uh, this one, of course, is disabled unless you have both of them, the first of them uh, completed as a check mark. So it's going to be just really easy. Just add your banking information. And now you're ready to get started with the actual uh, payout section. And lastly, you just want to make sure that in your checked out, you want to choose the customer contact method and you choose the option that you want to uh, select what are the checkout for people. Let's say, for example, phone number, email, or only email. And with all the elements, this is how we can get started by creating some setting up the payment correctly of the actual Shopify payment store. So hopefully this was a very useful video for you. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing tools about the Shopify, how to correctly get started with the actual payment tools. Check if your country is eligible for all the elements that we've just discussed in this video. So thank you once again for watching the video. Try to see you next time.